Hey everybody, Jonathan here, modern Pilates instructor, teaching in Orange County and LA County. We're tuning into episode one of me traveling around as a modern day Pilates instructor, traveling to the United States, hitting different studios, meeting Pilates clients, meeting Pilates instructors, learning the different disciplines. I'm gonna try to find different type of reformers. I'm gonna try to beef up my game to bring it back to all of you in class and just help out other instructors and just grow as a community so we all can just grow together. You know, I say it all the time, let's get strong together. So I'm on the way to the UTC studio next to UC San Diego, where our second Pilates studio in San Diego opened. We have another one coming, so get ready for that. Three in San Diego. Um, I'm going there first, just to check out the studio. And after that, uh, just, I really want to take a bath. Um, I brought some bath bombs. I should get some Epsom salt now that I'm thinking about it. And I definitely forgot the wine, so maybe I'll be making a stop somewhere to get some things before I get to the studio. I don't really have much planned tonight. Uh, meeting with a friend that I met when I started teaching here in San Diego, and we're gonna be hanging out for a little bit before we go to her daughter's choir event, or band, uh, I think it's band. And um, after that, probably grab something to eat, and then uh, we gotta call it a night a little early just cause I'll be teaching tomorrow morning. Uh, I'll be attending a mock class for one of our up-and-coming Pilates clients and right after that I'm teaching two classes so it should be fun. I'm definitely going to be hitting Evola and that is a French restaurant that I found while I was teaching here in San Diego located in North Park. I can't begin to think where to start and if I kept, if I started talking about that restaurant I don't think I'll ever stop but I will leave you with this I liked it and loved it so much from the first time that I went into that restaurant from the moment I called not even before I stepped into the restaurant um, it's amazing I can't say anything bad about it I really enjoy going there I go there every time I go to San Diego and I'm definitely gonna be going there during my trip this time. We got some other people that we'll be seeing too, and I don't think all of them know that I'm coming. I think just Missy knows that I'm coming, so it'll be a nice treat to see everybody. Everyone's always just really friendly, feels like family, feels like home when I come there, so really looking forward to going there. After I teach tomorrow, I'm not really sure. Oh, I'm meeting with one of the Pilates clients. Um, she does really amazing art. Um, for Pilates, or I'm sorry, for Pokemon cards. See, I'm always thinking about Pilates. Um, she does really good art, and we're gonna be kicking it tomorrow after class. I believe she's taking my second class at 9.05, so we'll probably just grab some coffee, some food, maybe I'll find a place, maybe she'll recommend something, who knows. Um, let's see, I'm 31 minutes out, a little bit of traffic. See, that's the thing about traveling to San Diego. Always add a little bit of time because when there's one accident or just any kind of issue on the 5 freeway, it backs up like crazy. Tomorrow, after I hang out with the Pilates client or my friend, my Pilates client, I'm definitely going to try to take a second bath. I got two bath bombs. And uh, just go around and hang out and just explore everything. I'm definitely going to eat. Uh, definitely going to have a little bit to drink, some wine. Um, and then just try to head back. I don't want to stay out too late because Sunday is my really long day where I teach classes from 7 o'clock all the way until literally 5.30. So Sundays are pretty my beat days. I got food on the way. We're, we, I mean, we're gonna, we, I have so many things to talk about. We got a pelvic floor therapist that I've worked with, uh, worked with in the past, Dr. Ali Francis. If you want to watch the video, go to my Instagram. E S C underscore Jonathan J O N A T H A N same handle as YouTube and we did a five part series just like one long video split into five about talking about Pilates about the pelvic floor pregnancy postpartum so if you're looking to start a family if you're looking to have a child or know somebody that might benefit definitely share it with them. I've learned so many things from Dr. Francis and we're getting together again to bring more content to you. 
So I believe this past Monday we met for dinner to discuss what we wanted to do. And it, the topic's gonna be about Pilates, uh, classical, it's gonna be about Ligree, it's gonna be about modern Pilates incorporated into the pelvic floor, pregnancy, uh, and specifically in regards to the first, the second, and the third trimester. If anybody ever thinks about any content that you find valuable or you think other people will find valuable please reach out let me know because maybe i might miss thinking of some topic to talk about i say it in class all the time if you think it someone else is thinking it if you feel it someone else is feeling it and i really want to grow as a community and um, pilates has allowed me to do a lot it's allowed me to kind of dabble in like being a DJ and being selective with my music, learning different styles of music and opening my ears and my heart to different music. It's also helped me share those things with you. Many of you have asked for my playlist. Um, I've had other instructors, not just Pilates, ask me for certain songs and I'd love that I could share that with you. I feel life is challenging and anything remotely close to helping us feel better means the world. It could be something small, it could be something big. And remember, like we all think a little bit differently. We're all our own planet. And when we get together, we're sharing how we operate on our planet and sometimes people don't get along and sometimes people do and there's compromises sacrifices whatever it may be but uh i'm so totally going off topic but uh <laughs> i do this thing called branch thinking where i literally keep thinking and thinking and it just goes off topic but somehow i find my way back but um yeah, we have so much content with Dr. Francis. I'm gonna try to get with other Pilates instructors to bring topics to you. We're gonna be working with other content creators. I already have two lined up in the city of Long Beach. I'd love to work with Sophie, who is another Pilates instructor at my studio. She also started a recent uh, YouTube account as well. I don't have the information right now, but I will find it later. I will let you know about it, and I'll also put it in the comments. We should always support one another because dreams come true, but you gotta go for it. And I know that we're scared because of the unknown or because we don't know what we're doing or we just, we're just hard on ourselves. But even I had to learn that I just have to start. And I've had amazing people around me to help me, a very small circle but amazing nonetheless, that have helped me grow as a human being, as me, and being allowed myself to find who I am, and I still am finding myself, but I know who I am a little bit more, because what I was before was, I guess, a nine to five worker. I grew up, I wanted to get a job, I graduated, with a degree in healthcare administration. I've always been in healthcare since 14. Uh, graduated, tried to find work, went back, went for my graduate degree specializing in geri gerontology. Uh, and now I teach Pilates. And I just felt that that's what I needed or what I had to do, which is grow up, get a good job, graduate college, build a career, buy a house, get married, have kids. But I felt like maybe I never really wanted any of those things. Maybe like what if I had the freedom to just go around and figure it out for myself, which I know some people do. And now I'm so grateful because Pilates, has brought my exercise back. I used to work a lot, I still do, but I moved my way up the corporate ladder and I just felt a little unhappy. I felt that 
the higher that I went, it was less fun. And it was more about money. And it was more about other things than helping people. And I understand it's a business, don't get me wrong. But me working in it just didn't make me happy. And I started to notice that I didn't want to go to work. And I didn't want to wake up. And Minu, who's another Pilates instructor who got me started with Pilates, very important in my life, and still works at BeFit Modern Pilates with me and Sophie. Um, she really encouraged me and pushed me to let, let it go. It's really hard starting over, whether that's with your life, with a new job, with moving, or starting another social media channel, starting TikTok when it came out, going to YouTube for the first time, starting Twitch, like whatever, right? It's, it's, it's challenging to have to start all over again. But we have to remember that we have to always challenge ourselves because we'll just become stagnant. We'll just, we, I just feel like there's always room for opportunity to grow. But it's allowed me to, okay, back in business. So finding out for the first time that the Sony camera that I purchased for vlogging powers off after a certain amount of time when the internal temperature is too hot. So I gotta look into that. It's a 15% restocking fee if I return it, but so far I'm pretty happy with it. Um, so maybe there's some kind of hack, but I am eight minutes out from the studio at UTC and when and before I got cut off, I was saying how Pilates has allowed me to really incorporate all the things that I've really ever wanted to do. It's a little bit of teaching, a little bit of DJing, um, definitely working on interpersonal skills and getting in front of people is really difficult in the beginning because, you know, I get, when I get nervous, I start to sweat, my ears get hot, and I just sweat profusely from my head. And it sucks because it just drips down and there's like no way that I can hide it from you. But uh, it's been a long time coming and I felt, I feel like I've been teaching Pilates for so long, but it's only been a year and one, two, like three months. So it's just crazy how much time can pass, but at the same time, how little time passes, but so many things happen. Anywho, I'm almost at the studio. I'm definitely gonna show you what it looks like and I'm excited to see what it looks like. I'm really excited to see what the apartment looks like as well, and I'm super excited for our bath. Uh, so stay tuned, be right back. So I'm about to hop into the studio right now to check out the UTC studio. Let's see how it is. Hey. Oh my god, hi, how's it going? So I got into my apartment and I was unpacking my food first and guess what I forgot? <laughs> I forgot my suitcase and it had everything I wanted <laughs> inside of it. So I'm currently walking across the street to Nordstrom's <laughs> to go buy some underwear, shoes, cause all I have on are my slippers <laughs> or my slides. And uh, this is gonna be really interesting. So I forgot my suitcase in Orange County. <laughs> so I'm about to go to the mall and go shop. So 
Surrender to the divine. The Westfield Mall. So Nordstrom's is over there, and I gotta start my, making my way over there because I need to get back and get dressed. There's a Macy's, but I'd rather go to Nordstrom's and darn, I have a gift card at home. That's okay. I've been wanting to shop for a little bit, and now it's my time to shop because I literally only ever wear workout clothes because that's all I do. And the only day I have off is Saturday. And since I think two weeks ago, I've stopped teaching, I think three less classes, but I'm still teaching a lot. But now it's nice to go buy clothes, so let's go. There's a Macy's, an 85 Degrees Bakery, a Preston Juicery. The small's pretty good. There's American Eagle in the corner. There's a Eureka restaurant. There's a West Noodle Bar over there. And look, we've arrived to Nordstrom's. So luckily, I brought a t-shirt, khakis, and I went and got some brand new chucks. Pretty cool. Um, I haven't owned a pair in a really long time and they're very cushiony. And I haven't had a high top in a really long time, but it's really comfy. It's feel, it kind of feels like you're walking on gel. But yes, uh, I still got my Pilates socks underneath. Couldn't find some socks that I wanted. But luckily I got underwear, I got new shoes, and I got fresh clothes. And I'm waiting for my friends to pick me up. We're gonna be going out to San Diego downtown somewhere and we're gonna be watching her daughter perform tonight. Uh, in the meantime, I'm gonna get some food. <laughs> so a lot of crazy things happened on my way to San Diego today. One, I forgot my suitcase. Two, when I was driving and getting lotion, it completely opened and burst everywhere and got over everything. And then my odometer went crazy and turned to kilometers instead of, or kilometers instead of miles. So it was just crazy. So I got these Calvin Klein boxers. I usually just buy whatever, um, usually H&M. But uh, I just decided to get some Calvin Klein. They're not like the traditional, uh, I don't know what you call it, band around the waist, but this one looked pretty good. There was another one where there was white lines all the way across and that looked a little tacky to me, but yep, I got three pack of Calvin Klein boxers, fresh sneakers, and we're good to go. The next day. It's about 6.35 in the morning right now and I'm headed to the studio in UTC. I wasn't able to show you anything really yesterday because there was class going on. But we're gonna try to get there early, show you the studio. And I'll be taking a mock class of one of the newly graduated uh, Pilates instructors. I'm gonna be taking that class and then right after I'll be teaching two classes. So let's get in the car and let's get out of here. Later that day. So 
that was episode one. You got to see me go through San Diego. A little awkward, a little odd, a little interesting being able to go around holding a selfie stick, talking to a camera in front of a group of people. But I got to reconnect with some people out in San Diego. You guys got to see where I went. We got episode two coming soon. I'm going to be going on a Cadillac reformer soon. I'll be sure to get that on camera, show you how it's like. Really interested just because it looks really challenging. I really like challenges, but stay tuned. I got a lot of things coming. I want to thank all of you for your support through the year and a few months. A lot has happened in a really short amount of time, even though that short amount of time feels really long. But I met a lot of great people. I'm really proud of everybody. You know, it takes a lot to make the commitment and be consistent and really take on challenges. And I want to let all of you know that I know that you do your best. And I just care, you know, because I feel like we're always concerned or worried or taking care of somebody else and i feel like sometimes when we work out we're taking care of ourselves right self-care and it's just nice to see all of you share your goals reach your goals and see the struggles that you go through just know that you're doing it that's the most important thing because you could, you possibly couldn't be, right? But you made that decision to be able to challenge yourself, take on something different, and do something new. So I really just want you to think, not just with Pilates, but just think about everything in the sense that what do we value? What do we really believe in? And do we really believe in it? and just go for your dreams. I never thought that I'd be vlogging or going on YouTube or learning TikTok and doing all this social media stuff, but I'm doing it. And I want you to know that whether you have it planned out or not, just start. Everything will make sense as you keep going. And it's a process, just like life. Every day is a lesson, every moment, every scenario, every decision that we make. We have to learn from it. And I feel that learning is constant and that we must always push ourselves and challenge ourselves. But if I push myself every day, if I always strive to be better, I feel that there's always something just to learn. We got episode two coming. I'll be traveling to Las Vegas. I'll be traveling to Portland, Arizona, uh, up north, San Francisco, San Jose. And uh, just just stick with me. I got a lot of things. I just wish there was more of me sometimes, but at the same time, I don't. I really just want to grow as a community together and do big things with one another. Just really bring everybody together and make other people happy. I really want to, you know, spread that. Thank you for your support from day one, day two, whatever day it was. I'm going to keep bringing you content. I'm going to keep bettering myself so that I can bring it all to you. Lots of content, a lot of collaborations. And just stay tuned. Anything you want, reach out, let me know. And I have no problem. I'd be obliged to make content to just answer questions, learn new things, experience things, show you what it's all about. So just look out. We got episode two coming soon. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for your support. And uh, yeah, let's get strong together.